We need to practice how to use the calculator to do our trig and we will look at using the internet to do that. Uh, Web-based calculators. You need to learn how to use your handheld one also. So it should be similar. If I just Google calculator, Google comes up with a calculator for me. And that's nice. Or there's another one that I found online, web 2 dot zero calc dot com so take your pick find something they're all very similar the only difference that I've seen with some is do you put the number in first or the operation you'll see that in a second so here are our sine cosine tangent keys so if we want to do sine of an angle so let's say we have a 30 degree angle and we want to find the sine of a 30 degree angle. Remember that sine refers to the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And you'll come up with a negative, how can I have a negative ratio? That makes absolutely no sense. Well, here's why it makes no sense. Look right over here. This is telling me we're measuring the angle in radians not what we want. You got to make sure your calculator is in degrees. We have degree measurements. We were 30 degrees. All right, let's try it again. So sine is what I want to do. And then 30 is the angle I've got. Close parentheses, hit equal. And it says that the ratio of those two sides, the opposite to the hypotenuse, is 0.5. Awesome. Let's do it on this calculator. Um, right here, sine, cosine, tangent, so sine, again, it's giving me parentheses, and that's how it's always going to look. And up here, it's telling you how things are looking, we're talking about 360-year-old circle. Sine 30 degrees equals 0.5. Now, they're also nice, they give us this fractional relationship, so if the opposite was 1, the hypotenuse would be 2. If the opposite were 2, the hypotenuse would be 4. Uh, let's just try some different ones. Uh, so I'm going to do sine. Oh, let's do cosine this time. Oh, no. Don't want to do that. I want to do cosine of 40 degree angle. So if I had a 40 degree angle, the cosine, which refers to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, it would equal 0.76604443. Yeah, lots of de decimals. we we got to you know use enough of those. Can't just say 0.8. That's not accurate enough. Um, so the relationship between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse would be 0.766. Let's see how it looks in, what was that, cosine 40? Uh, let's try this one. Cosine 40 equals... Hey, it didn't give me a fraction. Oh, you know why? Because there's no simple fraction for it. All right, same answer, right? So that's cosine was the relationship between the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And if I have a 40-degree angle... The adjacent will be roughly 76-77% of the hypotenuse. So if the hypotenuse was 100 long, the cosine, the adjacent to where I'm standing, would be 76.6 long. That's what these are saying. Anytime you have a number for an angle, you know the, you can find the proportion of the sides. Um, let's just do another one. Let's say let's say we got a 80 degree angle. 80 degree angle we're standing at. We want to find the relationship between the opposite and the hypotenuse. So we hit equals and we find out that if we have an 80 degree angle, the opposite side is 98% of the hypotenuse. 0.9848 is the relationship between opposite over hypotenuse. So it's about 98% the length of it. Okay. Um, let's go cosine of 80. Cosine of 80 equals 0.1736. So the adjacent is about 17% of the hypotenuse. The ratio between adjacent and hypotenuse is 0.1736 for an 80 degree angle. All right, let's try some throw some tangents here. I mean, it's all the same thing. It's you, you put in the, the, your angle that you got, and you find the relationship between the two sides. If I have a seventy-five degree angle, 
Tangent is TOA, T-O-A. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. The relationship between the opposite and the adjacent angle is opposite and adjacent side is 3.73. So one side is 3.73 times longer than the other one. Okay. That's how you do sine, cosine, and tangent. Now make again, make sure you are on degree. And some calculators, and you can't see it here, some calculators want you to put in the 30 and then sine. You know, so it's not gonna look like this. It'll it'll actually just look like thirty. Then you'll hit sign, and it'll come up with the answer. Um, so just see which one your calculator does. Let's compare with everyone. Make sure we can all get the same answer. That's important. Now let's do that sine inverse thing. Um, in inverse again, if you look above your uh, if you look above your sign button, there's probably a little negative one. That means inverse sine. That's how you undo a sine. That's like if you have sine x equals three fifths, and you want to find x equals what? You got to get rid of sine. Well, how you get rid of sine? How you cancel sine? It was sine inverse. Often it's just second function. Um, like here we have second function, so let's cancel that. So I want to do the second function of sine. And it says a sine, or it says arc sine, or it says it's sine inverse, or it says these. Okay, they're all very. They're all the same thing. Um, of three divided by five. So if I know I have a side of three and a side of five, I can find the angle. Is what's happening. We will use inverse sine to find angles. Equals. We have a thirty-six point eight six nine degree angle. If we knew that the opposite was 3 and the hypotenuse was 5. That's what's happening. Now let's say we know the adjacent and the hypotenuse, and we want to find the angle. Well, that would be inverse cosine, because we're adjacent and hypotenuse. So second function, cosine. Um, and let's say it was a, let's say our adjacent was 6 and our hypotenuse was 11. That would get us a 56 degree angle, almost 57. Okay, we'll do one more inverse. Uh, da, 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 let's do it on this one. And there it says inverse. So let's say we know the uh, clear. Come on, clear. We know we're going to go inverse. We're going to go opposite and hypotenuse again. So we're going to go sine. See, it says sine negative one. And it's also called called arc sine. And let's say we know it's a 3 and a 4. So we know the, the opposite is 3 and the hypotenuse is 4. That means our angle is 48.59. Awesome. That's how we use our calculator. Now we're going to come up next. We'll put it all together.